Morning everyone, welcome back to the Wolf College of Coffee and the Wolf Coffee Vlog. Today, I want to take you through a new brewing accessory that's been on the market for a while and how to brew with the Delta Coffee Press and I guess in comparison, what makes it, sets it apart or makes it different to other sort of brewing devices that are easily accessible and portable for you guys to use at home, all right? So, from first impressions, yes, it is very, very similar of that, to that of the conventional AeroPress brewing method. The AeroPress as standard, okay, is an immersion coffee brewer. So the water and the coffee are brewing inside the brewing chamber here together before we plunge out all together. How the Delta Coffee Press works is similar to that of a standard pour, much like a V60 or a Chemex or any sort of vessel where you're actually pouring the water directly over the coffee bed before it's filtered through the filter paper into your actual chamber and reservoir. What sets the Delta Coffee Press apart is that it has a unique sort of system where it's a combination between the two. Simplicity of the AeroPress, but with the precision and the clarity that you get with the general or traditional pour over, much like a V60 or a Chemex. The water itself actually acts like a syringe and you're actually injecting it through the actual shower screen here, through the coffee bed, which you place into this coffee bed, uh, into this cap here. And then after the end, it get, passes through the filter paper into your brewing reservoir from there. The unique sort of system about this device is quite interesting in itself. Water gets added into the brewing chamber here, but nothing actually gets passed through the bed of coffee until you actually draw up the water and it gets released before gently plunging down through the bed of coffee into the cup. So with that being said, let's begin and show you one way how to brew, we like to brew with the Delta Coffee Press. So with the entire Delta Coffee Breast brew chamber, just the syringe and assembled as so, we're gonna insert the filter paper into the cap here. All right, and then much like anything else with any form of filter coffee, we like to pre-wet our filter paper with our brewing water. Just let pre-rinse. That just removes any residual sort of bleach or papery taste from the filter and potentially tainting the flavor of your coffee. So the interesting part about this is the coffee actually goes into the um, device here, not onto the cap itself, and then we're going to screw the brewing cap on afterwards. So today we're using 15 grams of ground coffee, roughly to that the coarseness of something between the coarseness and fineness and texture of somewhere between caster sugar and brown sugar. Just give it a level tap to settle, make sure it's nice and even. Then from there, with our pre-rinse filter cap, screw that on, make sure it's nice and tight and sealed, all right, and then we're ready to brew. So today, we're gonna to be using 15 grams of ground coffee to 200 milliliters of water. Roughly brewing at a temperature somewhere between 91 to 94 degrees Celsius, or your standard sort of brewing kettle, just off the boil. We're gonna pour in slowly into this brewing chamber here, with the almost down, to the 200 milliliter line. And the great thing about the Delta coffee press is it has precise sort of volumetric increments and measurements on the side for you allowed to adjust to how much coffee brewing water you actually need. We're gonna start by placing the rubber seal on the top here just to prevent your hands from being burnt during the brewing process and we'll begin. So the coffee at bed at the moment is still dry. Nothing's happening, no brewing. It's just sitting there nice and happily until we start doing this. We're gonna draw up to about the 50 mil mark, okay? And then the water is now sitting in this bottom chamber down here, and then it's ready time to inject. So we're gonna bloom this coffee and do a pre-infusion or pre-wet of about 50 milliliters of water. And we're gonna, for best results, just slowly, gently plunge. Now this is gonna inject the water through the better coffee and make sure everything's nice and saturated for even brew, even extraction. Press this in just gently, and then we're just gonna let that sit for about up to 30 seconds or so. In the meantime, we're gonna drop the next amount of water up to about the 100 milliliter line as so. And then from there, we're gonna slowly press through. So the water is actually now being injected through the bed of coffee, through the filter, and then into the reservoir down beneath. 
best results we have found is that if we gently press down with easy force, you'll get more clarity and a better tasting and a cleaner cup. From there, we're just gonna draw up the remaining residual amount of water. And then from there, gently press down again. Great thing about the Delta coffee press, it's very quick, it's efficient, and very, very clean and produces a tasty cup of coffee. Brewing times are fairly short. We're roughly looking at about anywhere between about a minute 15 to about a minute 30 total brewing time. Drop any residual last bit of water through, gently press down all the way through, and there you have it. Tasty, easy, clean cup catch, and you're ready to serve and pour. Thanks for watching another Wolf Vlog. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoy this video or any of our tutorials online so far, click the like button. Feel free to leave comments below and ask questions. We'll happily respond to you in our subsequent vlogs on various different topics and answer any sort of questions about brewing or technology or parts and equipment and so forth that you have any out there. All right, so guys, enjoy your coffee, happy brewing, and until next time, we'll see you again.